Hey guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we are going to be talking about the one, the only, Adobe. Adobe just released their earnings and they did good yet bad at the same time. The stock is down about 10% as of right now. So we're going to be talking about what's going on. Should you buy this stock and giving you guys my overall opinion about Adobe. So I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you guys get anything in value out of this video, hit that like button, subscribe. And if you guys are new to the channel and you're like, who is this, who is this guy? My name is Carter. I've been a full-time trader in the stock market. And with that being said, we do have an amazing school where I teach people how to trade and my strategies behind it. Guys, check it out. You guys can use code YouTube to get 20% off. Now with that course in, in school, you guys have access to my private live streams. You have access to private group chats, quizzes, lectures. It's absolutely fantastic. But guys, let's jump in into this here. So looking at Adobe here lately, Adobe has seen pretty solid growth. Really, the stock has gone from about 318 all the way up to over 630, you know, $8 a share. Now, this is an incredible move. Now, one of the reasons why we're seeing so much buying pressure among Adobe is because Adobe is highly invested into generative AI. Now, for those of you that don't know what Adobe is, Adobe is a software company pretty much known for Photoshop. Shop and Premiere Pro. Now, with that being said, those integrations with AI are crazy. Now, the reason why I say that is because I use them personally. Adobe is the site I use for my thumbnails, for you know my uh, YouTube editing, and it's changed the game. And so, obviously, with that being said, the stock has followed suit with that. But looking at the one minute chart, you guys can see the stock has gotten crushed and it's actually continuing to sell off here as we speak. Now, why is this? Well, this is because Adobe announced um, some things here. Adobe announced their earnings report. So looking here, Adobe announced a quarter one earning. Now, they did beat their revenue, which is good. EPS beat soft guidance, but Let's continue to scroll down and kind of read what happened here. So the quarter one earnings, Adobe's first quarter revenue increased 11% year over year to 5.18 billion, which is pretty good because this beat um, pretty much the estimate of about 5 point one four three billion according to bazinga the company reported quarterly earnings of four dollars and 48 cents per share which beat analyst uh, expectations as we scroll down here so adobe has beaten analyst estimates on both top and bottom line uh straight quarters which is always good uh let's continue to go through here remaining performance obligations were 17.5 billion at the end of the quarter cash flows from operations total to 1.17 billion in the fourth quarter. So let's continue to go down. So obviously Adobe's uh, drove record revenue, which is always good, strong, strong momentum, uh, creative cloud, document cloud, experience cloud. But why are we getting sell off? We're seeing all this stuff here. And the reason why we're getting so much sell off here is because of this here, Outlook. This is the guidance. So this is like future goals, future expectations for Adobe here. So Adobe sees the second quarter revenue in the range of 5.25 billion to 5.3 billion versus estimates of 5.31. So Wall Street is per pretty much hoping and predicting that they were going to bring in about $5.31 billion compared to Adobe saying, hey, I don't think we're going to reach that. I think it's going to be more along the lines of 5.25 or 5.3 billion. So honestly, in the grand idea of things, that's really not too bad, but let's continue to uh, go through. The company, um, Thinks that the second quarter adjusted earnings of $4.35 to $4.40 per share versus estimates of $4.38 per share. So the four year guidance was not uh, provided here. So, so honestly, I do think, I do think that yes, we're seeing a great great things on the revenue side, earnings per share, and overall, the overall rise of artificial intelligence is really playing a key factor with Adobe. But you also have to understand that Adobe is still a growth stock, right? It's It goes up and down at very, very volatile rates. And we've just seen this nonstop roar in buying pressure. You know, so now we got a little dip down and now a little more dip. So to be honest with you, I really, I'm a huge Adobe guy. I use their product. I love it. And 
Do you think that do you think that Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, all these Amer you know, all these massive corporations, Nvidia, do you think they've always just had solid success before you know, getting sell off in their stock. No, you know, companies go through volatility all the time. And so for me, this isn't that big of a deal. I understand that. I understand we're, we're doing well in the revenue. Even the company is going to be buying back some of its stock, which is a bullish thing to do. I'm saying this now, I'm buying more shares of NVIDIA. I'm using this opportunity of the 10% sell off to buy more and I know that sounds crazy, but I think looking back in two to five years, we're going to be wishing we would have bought more of Adobe. But the strategy I'm using is a little different than just dumping a bunch of money in right now. I'm dollar cost averaging. So what that is is it's a way to invest into growth stocks and stocks that are a little more volatile, a little more risky. So what I do is I invest consistently. Maybe I invest once a week or every other week, but investing consistently is a great way to invest into growth stocks because if that's just say Adobe sells off like it did 10%, now I'm using that sell off and I'm buying that dip. Once the stock recovers, you know, your your average cost is lower so you can make a lot more money. But overall, I really think that right now with the generative AI that Adobe has, it's literally game changer. And I'm super excited to see where this stock goes in the future. Let me know in the comments if you guys are buying it, using this opportunity to buy, uh, you know, buy this stock. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. But have a great rest of your day. And uh, we'll see. We'll see about Adobe here. Take care, guys.